What you should know about cryptocurrency funds before investing. The long-awaited Bitcoin Futures Exchange Traded Fund ETF, began trading on the New York Stock Exchange on Tuesday, marking a watershed moment in cryptocurrency's ongoing rollout. The new ETF, dubbed the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF BITO, joins a small but growing group of funds that provide exposure to digital currency. The new Bitcoin-linked fund enables traders to speculate on Bitcoin without directly purchasing cryptocurrency or opening an account with a cryptocurrency exchange. Investors can purchase and sell the fund in the same way they would any other stock on the exchange, which simplifies the process of getting started. By opening the doors to mainstream investors through Bitcoin ETFs, a large number of investors can participate in Bitcoin indirectly without actually holding the digital asset, alleviating many newcomers' concerns, says Peter Jensen, CEO of blockchain payments company Rocket Fuel Blockchain. However, the road to more crypto exchange traded funds appears to be rocky, according to experts, despite the fact that many fund companies would love a piece of the healthy fees associated with running an ETF based on the trendy asset. And this desire comes at a time when fees on traditional assets such as stocks have been reduced in response to increased competition for new assets. Here are the few crypto ETFs that are currently available, as well as the funds that traders can anticipate in the future. Bitcoin ETFs, the funds that are currently available. Bitcoin Exchange Traded Funds, ETFs, can be classified into two broad categories, depending on how the fund owns the cryptocurrency and provides exposure to investors. Physical Exchange Traded Funds, ETFs, that are backed by actual Bitcoins. ETFs that invest in crypto futures contracts that are traded on an exchange. At the moment, the SEC is considering the majority of applications for physical ETFs, but there has been an increase in the number of applicants for futures ETFs over the last year or so, says Sui Chung, CEO of CF Benchmarks, a subsidiary of Kraken, a cryptocurrency exchange. While this may seem like a minor point, the ability to buy and sell cryptocurrency via the ETF structure opens the asset up to new investors. Bitcoin ETFs enable mainstream institutional investors to access Bitcoin without having to worry about storing it in hot wallets, which are more vulnerable to hacks, or about the regulatory and fiscal implications associated with buying it directly on a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, says Kay Kamani, managing director of Spectre.i, a brokerless trading platform. While the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, currently favors futures ETFs, including the new ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, there are already a few publicly traded funds. Existing Digital Asset Funds Two existing cryptocurrency funds are publicly traded, and both hold it directly. Bitcoin Trust in Grayscale, GBTC the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust began in 2013 as a private investment with a six-month lock-up period prohibiting investors from reselling it in the open market during that time. However, some investors have since sold their shares to the market, making the fund available to anyone. The fund charges an annual fee of 2% of assets under management. The fund sponsor announced in October that it is considering converting to a Bitcoin spot ETF. The fund would enable investors to track the price of Bitcoin through a familiar exchange-traded fund structure. Bitwise 10 Cryptocurrency Index Fund BITW. The Bitwise 10 Crypto Index Fund is a monthly rebalance index of the 10 largest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, excluding stablecoins and certain others. It began trading publicly in 2017 as a private investment for accredited investors. The fund charges an annual management fee of 2.5% of assets. Bitcoin
Bitcoin, which accounts for the majority of the fund's assets, Ethereum, Cardano, and Solana are the fund's largest holdings. Additional cryptocurrency-related funds At least one fund, the Vault Crypto Industry Revolution and Technology ETF, VTCR, has circumvented the SEC's preferences and recently gained trading approval. The SEC approved Vault Equities ETF, which circumvents current SEC restrictions by not investing directly in Bitcoin but rather tracking companies that have a majority of their assets in Bitcoin or generate revenue from Bitcoin-related activities, Jensen explains. ETFs on Blockchain Technology For the time being, direct investment in cryptocurrency via publicly traded funds is limited. However, those interested in riding the wave of blockchain technology, the technology that powers these digital currencies, have a few options for investing in funds that own companies riding the wave. Amplify Transformational Data Sharing ETF BLOK, is the largest blockchain ETF, with top holdings including HUT8 Mining, HUT, Marathon Digital Holdings, MARA, and MicroStrategy, MSTR, as of October 2021. Siren Nasdaq Next Gen Economy ETF, VLCN, is another player in this space, with top holdings including Silvergate Capital, SI, Marathon Digital Holdings, and MicroStrategy. The SEC and Cryptocurrency Exchange Traded Funds The SEC has thus far refused to approve any ETFs that invest directly in Bitcoin, despite the fact that numerous asset managers have applied with a similar setup already visible in countries such as Germany, Canada, and Switzerland, Jensen explains. So what is preventing the SEC from approving additional funds or those that directly own cryptocurrency? Experts cite a variety of reasons. Regulatory concerns about ETFs include their fee structures, uncertainty about Bitcoin's true intrinsic value, and, of course, the fact that the underlying asset's regulatory future remains uncertain, Kamani says. Chris Klein, Bitcoin IRA's COO and co-founder, cites additional reasons. According to previous rulings, regulators are concerned about the ability of digital assets to be manipulated, issues of volatility, and a lack of surveillance, Klein explains. Previously, regulators were unsure of how cryptos worked, he explains. As they gained familiarity with the space, the SEC began to grasp how these assets are stored, secured, and reconciled in a manner consistent with traditional finance. However, another significant reason the SEC prefers futures ETFs over physical ETFs is pre-existing regulation, according to Chung. At the moment, the venues where the majority of cryptocurrency trading occurs, exchanges, are not legally required to follow existing capital market regulations, such as the Securities Exchange Act, he explains. Of course, many platforms, Kraken included, have voluntarily chosen to adhere to these requirements, but the SEC retains reservations about approving a product from a market that is largely outside its jurisdiction. However, since Gary Gensler took over as SEC chairman earlier this year, he has expressed a preference for a futures ETF that will hold contracts from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, a market already regulated by the CFTC's sister agency, Chun Notes. Which cryptocurrency exchange traded funds, ETFs, are on the horizon? While the SEC may be dragging its feet on cryptocurrency ETF approvals at the moment, Experts believe this is largely temporary and point to already existing crypto ETFs in Canada and Europe. When the regulatory framework is established, it may eventually result in the creation of a variety of new ETFs, even if some of the most exotic products remain unavailable in publicly traded funds. Once the regulatory kinks are worked out, ETFs will follow, Kamani predicts. In the case of cryptocurrency ETFs, 
We are unlikely to see anything other than Bitcoin and Ethereum in the short term, but we are likely to see variation in the future as the SEC begins to regulate the industry more aggressively, says Ben Weiss, CEO and co-founder of CoinFlip, a network of cryptocurrency ATMs. And when can traders expect to see a slew of new crypto ETFs? Crypto ETFs are unavoidable, Klein asserts. A product of this nature will eventually be developed because there is a market for it, but the timeline remains uncertain. Increased regulation, which can help create safeguards for cryptocurrency, could also help bring a broader range of fund companies into the crypto space. While a number of crypto-specific ETFs have been proposed by firms such as Valkyrie and Cryptoin, a number of new applications have come from traditional players such as Wisdom Tree, Invesco, and ProShares, Chung notes. While a clear regulatory framework and industry standards will aid in the development of a wave of crypto ETFs, do not expect the industry to securitize all crypto products. ETFs based on more exotic crypto creations such as unregulated decentralized trading exchanges, lenders, staking, or farming high-yield investment programs are unlikely to be approved in the near future, Kamani says. He argues that these products' inherent security risks preclude them from being classified as traditional ETFs. In conclusion, while traders await the SEC's approval of cryptocurrency exchange-traded funds, they are not restricted from trading the currencies directly. It's simple to get started with a cryptocurrency exchange like Binance, particularly if you're already familiar with online brokerages. By using a low-cost cryptocurrency exchange, you can avoid some of the hefty management fees levied by existing ETFs, which can be as high as 2% or 2.5% of your invested assets per year. Thus, investors hoping for a robust market for cryptocurrency exchange traded funds will have to wait until the SEC decides how to proceed. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.